Hey there Babylonians, my name's Songs of Rays, and we're back with another legendary guide and today it's the power of Thor at your fingertips. If you've ever watched the Marvel Cinematic Universe and you've thought, damn that looks like fun, then this is the gun for you. The Thunderbird special mod is the ultimate storm whip which brings down lightning every single second. Now it does do the exact same amount of damage as the tier 2 mod. Uh, but it does it obviously twice as quick because the Merlin tier 2 mod does it every two seconds, this does it every one. Now, you can have a little bit of fun with this and then stack the tier 2 mod. So you can do lightning every second and every two seconds and just stack it and it's just so fun. It's so beautiful to literally watch as you go around uh, tearing through. So, um, mixed it up a little bit, got some uh, uh, co-op gameplay with Dan Waz, who was also with Babylon. Uh, and yeah, it's try, trying to carry him through a tier 11 because uh, his pyro build's just starting to get there. Um, but trying to get him the best chance of getting some legendaries to be able to get him that best gear. So the Thunderbird may look great in the looks department, but how does it fare in combat? Now, you can see in the background that it is doing some work. Uh, the lightning obviously does make up for the fact that you're doing a little bit of extra damage, in this case 37,000 each time that lightning strikes. And I, I did pair that with the tier 2 mods which does another extra 37,000 on top of that, which uh, when you think about it does actually give it a nice little damage output. And it might not be the best way to be able to run the gun, but I do think it's possibly the most fun and probably the most, I don't know, epileptic way to be able to run this gun because the amount of light that comes down uh, is amazing but at the same time is also very jarring it's very uh, distracting is probably the way and it does mess with your aim and it does mess with your uh, your gameplay when you when you're going through so where does the Thunderbird fall short well as with most builds that focus around the the ammo typing skill um, you need to be able to get the last hit with the actual physical gun rather than the actual mods and the skills that are on it, otherwise it doesn't actually count and it, you won't be refilling your ammo. So Vampiric Mags or Toxic Rounds or anything like that to be able to load it back in uh, just won't work, uh, especially if that Lightning is the one that actually kills them off. Now, that being said, it's brilliant for weakening them up, um, but yeah, considering it's every single second, it actually makes it a little bit on the inconsistent side for you. Uh, and ends up working against you in some kind of ways. Um, that being said, without the ammo mod, brilliant. Uh, it's just what you need, and it definitely consistently deals that damage. Um, and the fact that that lightning comes down so often means that you don't actually have to use an ammo mod for this one. You can actually focus on three different skills um, and just, I don't know, just have, just have a blast and uh, potentially make an anomaly build, uh, which is potentially the way I would recommend using this gun. So what would you use this for? Well, like I said, it's a nice backup weapon for the fact that the lightning is the main source of the gun's damage. Um, obviously the bullets themselves do a decent amount, uh, and that's great, but the lightning and how, how common and how more it, how much it comes down is just, it just adds to your DPS, and that's, that's, that's the main thing that I would do. And then you don't have to rely on trying to restock your ammo uh, for your ammo skills. But then saying that, you can also go into anomaly builds, um, and because you don't need to worry about uh, your ammo skills or anything like that. You can actually run three different offensive skills. Um, potentially, this could be quite good for a Devastator in that kind of sense. Um, that's something I would probably have to play around with because I'm starting to get my better Devastator back up to level 30. Uh, it's currently on level 13, but, you know, long story. It's got to get there somehow. So, um, would I say that the mod is what makes this gun, or would I say that the gun is probably the best way to run this now? The mod is brilliant, uh, obviously if we look outside the fact that there's, there's ammo skills, um, but I think it actually does work perfectly on this gun, uh, so this might actually be one of the first that I do recommend that the gun is better than the mod, um, and yeah, th think about it, because then you, cause you can, you're open to interpretation then to be able to put another mod on, whether you want to go for extra gun damage, uh, like Killing Spree, or if you do want to add on the extra Lightning to be able to keep that DPS up because you're not looking to use an ammo skill. Um, there's so many different combinations there. You could, you could be able to add the extra Bleeding on there uh, to try and keep that ammo skill up if that's what you wanted to do. Um, or just maybe even Freeze. There's so, there's so many different possibilities for this. Um, I genuinely do think that the gun is probably the best way to actually run this one. 
So all in all, is the Thunderbird a good gun? And I do think it is a good gun. I, I do think it's quite outclassed. Um, I would say it is outclassed by a lot of other legendaries out there. And in, in, in that sense, it would get overlooked. But I do think that the mod is brilliant. I do think the gun is very usable. And I do think you'd have a lot of fun running this. And uh, yeah, I would I would recommend If you see this, pick it up, give it a go. See how you feel about it. Um, but like I said, guys, that is everything for this guide. Um, in that case, I hope you've enjoyed. If you've learned something, uh, feel free to drop a like and a subscribe. That would be greatly appreciated, definitely by myself and the guys. Um, and yeah, keep yourself well, and we'll see you on the next one.